ICT education in UK schools is in a period of flux, with the Education Secretary outlining plans to scrap the current software skills-based curriculum, there is now potential for a great deal more freedom in the way children learn to interact with computers. An indicator of future possibilities is the Raspberry Pi, a £22 computer which will soon be widely available in the classroom. Here at Swallow Hill Community College in Leeds, a class of students is the first in the UK to taste the pie. Distributor Premier Farnell is running a two-hour programming class using the machine as a closed network server. But how is this more in-depth learning going down with these 11-year-old students? Uh, we've had a great reception here. The kids have been incredibly uh, responsive to it. We've seen uh, some amazing questions that have come back. Um, and I think what I'm really impressed with is even the, the quieter children, they're kind of sitting there just, um, just absorbing it and then they come up with a killer question which really shows that they've been uh, paying attention and they're, and they're dead keen and enthusiastic about it. So f from my standpoint, I couldn't have asked any more. I think the reception's been great. The cost is the, is the thing that does it, I, th I think, straight away. It puts um, you know, some amazing computing power in the hands of everybody, so everybody can get their hands on, uh, on, on the potential and the ability to, to program, um, not only uh, the board itself in, in high-level languages, but there's also a very powerful GPU on board, a graphics processing unit on board. You know, and if, if anybody wants to get into writing games for a GPU, they can do that as well on Raspberry Pi. So, the, so the, the possibilities are huge with that board because the, because the, the access is so open. What, these kids are solving the problems by themselves. You know, they're in attendance and, and helping out if there are any problems. But one teacher said to me, "Well, actually, we didn't. They didn't need my help or yours because they solved that problem all by themselves." And, and it's self-evident that they've learned uh, in that short space, short, short space of time we've had today how to solve their own problems, which is absolutely fantastic. That's a, that's a really key uh, skill in uh, you know, writing programs and, and learning about IT. While the students are clearly becoming engaged in this more technical approach to IT, what do teachers feel this kind of learning can offer schools in the long term? And what support may be required to keep teaching standards high? Well, um, I think f for us as a, as a, well, I'm guessing most schools, the, the, the kind of um, IT curriculum that we're offering at the moment tends to be teaching the students things like uh, desktop publishing, using Word, um, you know, Google SketchUp, that kind of thing. Um, something like the Raspberry Pi is going to open some fantastic doors. I mean, it's going to give the students lots of opportunities in programming. I mean, you've seen this morning how they've been able to, to change programs and, and actually have a go at making their own program, doing their own programming. So I think it's going to make some huge differences to the way the curriculum, ICT curriculum, is going to operate. We're working quite closely with Farnells, uh, looking at our um, IT curriculum. So the idea would be to get their expertise, look at what they, what they feel students should be coming out of school with. Because at the moment, as I say, it tends to be experts in word processing and desktop publishing. So working with Farnells would give us an opportunity to give them students that they really wanted. So that's the idea, to, to actually use some Raspberry Pis and give the students an opportunity to do some, something like programming. I, I always feel a little bit sorry for the IT teachers, and I'm guessing it's the same in most schools, because I think all of our IT teachers have done um, th their degree their background would be in programming. So they come into schools to teach and end up having to teach the things that the curriculum are basically stipulating. So they end up teaching the desktop publishing, the you know, word processing, that kind of thing. All of our staff are really, really keen to get started with something like the programming that the, that the Raspberry Pi can offer. Another concern among educators is that the possibility of a more flexible curriculum may mean a non-compulsory curriculum. Should teachers be concerned that if schools aren't pushed to teach ICT in some form, they may not only pass up opportunities such as Raspberry Pi, but even cut out ICT lessons altogether? I don't think the fact that ICT is not going to be compulsory changes things because we will all move over to computer science and I think it's a, it's a better thing. Um, it will teach the, the pupils a lot more in terms of programming and, and give them a better insight into the outside into the outside world. So no, I think it can actually be a good thing to uh, bring to change the curriculum and bring, bring it to programming more computer science based. But I think there'll still be an element of ICT that we, that we still do. I think you know, the two can work hand in hand. 
So after a two hour session of coding, which, for most of this class, will be their first interaction with computers beyond word processing, what have ICT education's most important end users made of the experience? Well, you've got more of like, you can do it yourself, instead of like the teacher showing, you can take it into your own hands and design it however you like. Like, you can change anything you want, as long as you know what you're doing, and like, it takes a while to get into it, but like, when, it, when you do get into it, it's like really good. Commercial links with local businesses help Swallow Hill keep its learning modern and relevant to students, and Leeds Ahead Partnership intends to stay very much involved with the school's ICT development. We worked on coming up with an interactive activity that they could do together. Um, so we've had Year 7s in today, and hopefully we'll follow that up next year because it's part of the Make the Grade programme, which is a larger programme of activities of business engagement with the pupils in the school throughout the years. Um, we look to follow this up next year with another activity, possibly with the same pupils, possibly with a different set of pupils, um, just to really um, get the influence of Raspberry Pi throughout the curriculum. Um, and we're looking at influencing the ICT, curric ICT curriculum as well, um, in the sense that we're going to get Premier Fennell staff and another company we work with, Logistic, who do more creative media and IT. Um, we're going to get them to come together and work with the ICT staff um, to look at what employability skills um, they look for in their students after they've left school and try and get that embedded in the curriculum. So that's what we're doing. There's still plenty of work to be done, both from the government and from private enterprise, but this Raspberry Pi taster proves that hardware and teaching skills are now available. More importantly, the level of engagement demonstrated by the students shows that an ICT curriculum based today on more than word processing and spreadsheets could begin to mould the computing industry innovators of tomorrow.